Hello and welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. In this video, it's not going to be too much in depth. However, I'm going to give a little intro to the terminal. A little better than my last video. Um, but I'll give you a little idea of what it is, why we use it, and how can we use it over a traditional point and click. Um, right now, I have a terminal open. Right now, the user is Chris and he is at Fathom, which is my computer name. You'll notice a few things going on here. It has my user, my uh, local host, or my computer name, and then it has a little blinking dot here. This is all going to be text based. Maybe some of you have seen a terminal or command prompt or anything similar like that, but when you work with a terminal, it's all going to be text based. So you can do com commands like moving around uh, directories, opening applications, and all other kinds of things. Um, but in this case, we're just going to do a few simple things at the moment. So, why is it here and why do we use it? And why do we even want to use it? Right now, as you can notice, if we, let's say, open up Firefox from a regular point and click, it'll just open it up um, just as a regular way. It's going to take a little time depending on your computer. But it'll open up, you'll have your you know, speed dial, all that good stuff going on. Um, you can also open them through the terminal simply by putting in the command Firefox. And that'll open it up just as the other way. And now this terminal is dedicated to this Firefox window. Now in real life, what the computer does is when you click this button, and I'll go ahead and show you, it's going to launch Firefox uh, percentage sign U. Now this is what it's going to launch within the terminal. So in Linux, literally everything we do is terminal, but behind the scenes. Um, when I click that button, this little command ran out, and I can actually just type in Firefox and the window comes out anyway. And now I can't really do anything else in this window because it is already dedicated to this Firefox. If I were to close this window, this terminal window, this Firefox would crash because it's dependent on it. Um, that's how pro processes work. Right now this terminal is busy using the process for that Firefox. However, if I close this out real quick, we can go, oh, we're back to normal and you notice how I spammed up here the SDFG came after the Firefox was coming through but if we were to run Firefox with a ampersand we can see the process was churned in for 3048 that's the process number and I can go back to the command prompt and still type information and kind of play around and do what I want now this process has been given to a whole different uh, terminal or a background terminal so that we can still use this terminal for whatever reason we want so anything we really do on the um, computer is going through a terminal. But again, it is in the background and you can't see it working. Now in these tutorials, I'm going to show you how to play around with the terminal and then get you familiar with it so we can start scripting, which I'll be doing after these tutorials, after, I get a, after you basically get the hang of it. Um, and how do we use it over traditional? Um, we can still use it just as regular terms. We can see what's in our directory, which is the ls. You can see all the text in here. Um, this is all going to be in the Chris or in the root directory, which is denounced by this squiggly line. So if you go to home folder, we can see we have the apps right up there. We have the downloads, uh, wherever that is, right there. We have Kazam, on and on and on. And I'll show you how to navigate with the terminal as well. Um, the terminal is very flexible. Um, Firefox has multiple commands inside itself. Let's see if we have a man page for it. There we are. So the man, what I did just now, is man Firefox, which is manual. So manual Firefox, and we can go into debugging mode. Uh, we can go into remotes or don't no remotes. Uh, it's just so many things that you can do. You can do safe mode as well, straight from the terminal. There are basically, I'll show you the safe mode right quick. Let's see, Firefox, safe mode, and that'll launch Firefox in safe mode. And these are just little add-ons that we can add to the end of Firefox to customize the actual running process. And we can reset our preferences and yada yada yada. And these little extra pieces or these little add-ons are all dependent on the application that you're running with. So that's it. I mean, that's a little bit about the terminal. Um, I'll go ahead from the very beginning in the next video.